almost half from YouTube. It's been about two months now, and uh, I'm finally making another video. Um, I've just been busy, you know, dealing with uh, treating some tanks, treating some other ponds, cleaning some stuff, work, other projects, and uh, I guess you could say I've been a little lazy too. Um, me and Katie have been sick on and off, so, you know, a lot of stuff adds up. But uh, it's been too long. I owe you guys a video, so I'm making one. Uh, this one's probably going to be a two-parter because it's going to be a full fish tank update. Quite a bit to update, a little bit to talk about, and I don't want one long video, so I'm going to try to make it a two-part video. Um, we're going to start outside. It's, for one, freezing because if you haven't noticed, well, I guess you might not have noticed, but if you live in Washington area, it started to snow in some parts, so... I got snow. I'll show you. Just a little bit of snow. But I decided I'll start outside and uh, show you what I did with the 100 gallon and our guppy pond to prep for the winter. So for starters, you know, it still looks real good. We uh, finally got an actual planted light up there. Only for half of it, just cause this side of the tank's not fully covered on top. Don't want to take that blanket off. So we only got a light over here. And if you notice over here, I don't think it matters, you know? Like there's still a grass growing full time. Um, the aquarium lilies have no problem growing. Uh, guppy grass over here, however, taking over. So if you uh, need any guppy grass and you're in Washington, I got some. I got some. Um, I sell it on offer up, so uh, look for me there. Um, other than that, tank's doing great. Some water driplets. This guy's getting bigger. Um, Thunder, the common pleco. If you guys can take a guess, it's uh, really hard to find them. It's really hard to find a lot of fish in this tank, but uh, we, we do our best. All right, so up here, you see we get the light. We got a air pump. We just bought this one. Oh no, we just bought this one to replace one that was super loud. So we got now two of those instead of three, I think is what we had running up here. So we dropped those down to two. And then we put this, we gotta go to the back side. On the back side of the tank, we got this blanket taped on. Um, it's just a you know mover's blanket, but it's thick. So we got it doubled up so that no cold wind hits it on the back side. You know, bricked on at the top. Um, we haven't needed one on the front yet. It hasn't gotten too cold. And, you know, as you've seen, you can see in the reflection here, like there's snow on the ground. Um, I think right now the tank's running at 70 degrees, which is pretty solid for me being how cold it is outside we have two heaters in there one of them is for a 60 gallon one of them's for a 20 gallon I think or 40 gallon so it's not the right size heaters but uh I know some of you are going to say that now get the right size heater but it's been doing just fine I want you guys to know that it's been doing just fine give me a thumbs up um no mollies have bred yet we've had to treat them a few times so uh, we have some ideas to put these guys in a pond and put something else in the 100 gallon with the Cory's and the Pleco and the algae eaters so that they can breed and uh, repopulate. But, but we don't know yet. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that and uh, see what we do with the 100 because there's a lot of plants. Well, not a lot, a few big plants, but uh, yeah. So far, winter, this tank's doing really good. Haven't had any problems yet. Now let's go over to the uh, guppy pond. All right, so I know right now, it looks like there's a, a board with a blanket, but uh, there's a pond under here. Water lights off right now. 
I think this uh this pond is cycled. This pond I think is cycled for uh light at night because that's when I feed them is at night. And then off during the day, it's on a 12 hour cycle. But one thing cool we had to do with this pond was build this little box. As you can see down here, this little box has the air pumps or air tubes, hoses coming out, the light hose, the heaters, you know, this and that. But uh, we had a problem with the pond that uh, we lost a lot of guppies because the heater stopped working and they, the pond got really cold, like down to, what was it, almost like 52 degrees or something. And I don't know if it was that or, you know, there's water issues, but a lot of them were very cold. They, some of them came back once they got warm water in it. Uh, so we did, had to clean the pond, put some new water in it, build that box so nothing gets wet and stops it from working. And uh, now the pond is doing a lot better. So, uh, oh, by the way, these are our Brazilian green moss cows in here. So, uh, wish us luck with these guys. We don't want to lose them. Hopefully they do better. So, uh, yeah. All right, so that, that was it for the pond, really. You know, just building that pretty cool little new box. Um, there's not a whole lot. If the light was on, I could have probably showed you some of the guppies. They're still looking phenomenal, as if not better than our old videos, you know? The ones that didn't die in that little freeze moment a few weeks ago. Uh, they look fantastic. I don't know, the pond's just right over there. Sorry, I keep looking at it. But uh, that's pretty much it for uh, the outside tanks. I'm freezing. It's getting cold. Um, I'm going to go inside and show you a new tank that is really cool that we just did. Stay tuned. I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, now that there's not food all throughout the tank and we can actually see a little bit better, I can uh, go through it with you guys. But first, there you guys go. Bruno front and center. He's getting a lot bigger. If you guys uh, have seen my previous videos with him in it, then uh, you guys will know he is a lot bigger than what he was. Don't worry, he is the same fish. That's my, that's my best fish right there. He's my favorite. Um, I'd say he's at least got to be over 10 inches. That's my guess. But uh, I haven't measured him in a while. So uh, back to the tank. Obviously, the biggest difference, it is 60 gallons instead of 30 gallons. And uh, shout out to my friend Whitman. I don't think he does much on YouTube. Um, so I don't really shout out his channel. Uh, I'll check see if he has any videos first. If he does, I will. If not, just a shout out to him in general for this tank. Um, I, I bought it from him. It's a beautiful tank. Crystal clear. And with this really nice stand down here as well. But uh, other than the bigger tank, we got the uh, new sand down here. No more rock and uh, sand and dirt and stuff. Because also, if you guys remember, that last substrate I had was dirt from my work, sand from my work, and uh, pea gravel from my work. And then eventually we put the aquarium sand on top of it, but I just never liked it. So now that we've done this with the uh, new sand, and you can see that it's a little bit dirty up here, um, that's fine. That's kind of the only spot. I'm just letting it build up for a little bit for now, and then I'll clean it since it is a new tank. But uh. 
since it is the new sand, all these fish in the bigger space as well have been so much happier. Tetras swimming all around. The uh, last catfish, we only got four of them left now. Out of the, I can't remember how much we had, I wanna say like seven. But uh, we never ever saw them die either or pulled them out the tank, never found them. They just kind of disappeared. So we got four of those guys left. We do have plans to uh, make that school a little bit bigger. The uh, petroculas, always swimming in and out of the tubes. Some over there, some back there. We got a different look. See, there's Bruno in there. See how much space he has front to back. Like, look at that. Just more room in general makes fish happier. The yeah, panda gars love it. French cola. I don't know, panda gar. There's the uh, banjo catfish. That's the head of them. Kind of hard for you guys to see. They don't uh, leave the sand too often. But that's also another reason why I wanted this uh, new tank so bad and to get rid of that old substrate is because we've had two of those guys for quite a while and I hardly ever get to see them. No shrimpy in there. Let's see, what else is gonna be new? Um, we got two filters in it now. I do gotta go to the co-op and uh, aquarium co-op and get I think the bigger one. I don't know if I want to run two small ones, like that one back there. That was for the 35. I don't know if I want to run two of those or one big one. I don't know yet. You guys can let me know what you think if you want. I don't know if I'm done. I'm run this for a little while. Um, I want to find some kind of like floating structure or make some kind of floating structure. That way it's not you know, when you get a shelf in the tank, you gotta see the suction cups on the side like we have in one of our other tanks. I wanna find something different, you know, fill this space, kind of make it like an avatar themed tank, leaving a lot more space open down here. Uh, let's see. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. We also have some other ideas of other fish we might get. We might get more banjos. Um, I'm trying to figure out some ideas of how to breed the petricolas here. So you guys will have to stay tuned to see if I am successful or not. And whatever I figure out, I can make little videos about and keep you updated to see if my experiments work. Um, Siamese algae is probably gonna come out soon. We'll have to get a new one of him, a little guy. We got the dwarf chain loaches, they're still doing good. One thing we want to do is get more of those pink tetras. Katie likes them. I kind of like them. I like the big tails. And I like how they just pop in the tank. You know, it's just that bright color of pink. Oh, Bruno's getting wild back there. Can you guys see him? That is one thing, I gotta... <clears throat> that is one thing about this tank is that the Petricolas do like to mess with Bruno a lot. I got a short that I'll post here after I post this video of uh, them swimming up under his fins and everything. I don't know if he likes it or enjoys it. Sometimes it bothers him, I don't know. But yeah, so for now, that's kind of it for this uh, first fish tank update video. Um, I do got more to update, more to talk about. Um, keep me get, or I'll keep you guys updated more often. I'll try to make more videos. Hopefully I got more exciting stuff happening with all my fish soon. So please stay tuned, bear with me. Um, let me show you guys what this tank looks like at night.
this is what it looks like with the night light on. I think it looks awesome. This is kind of where I got the idea to want to do like an avatar theme. But with like the floating rocks, you know what I mean? One or two of them, maybe three of them. I don't know. If I can't figure it out before you guys give me ideas, give me some ideas. Leave some ideas in the comments. All right, so uh, that's basically it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of a different one. Um, I wish I could do all of it in one video, but mostly because I've also been so behind, you know, two months behind, I'm doing a two-parter just so I can have two videos, you know. I don't know, I, but I do apologize that it's been so long. Um, if it wasn't winter right now, I plan to go out and do some other stuff, um, but it's winter, so stuff's frozen. Um, one thing you guys will have to stay tuned for is we do have, like I said before, plans to get a few other fish for this tank, uh, build up some of the colonies a little bit. So that's one thing you have to stay tuned for. And uh, well, just please subscribe and like my videos. You know, that's all I can ask for. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'm gonna end this video with uh, a nice little night feeding of my uh, 100 gallon fish tank. So hope you enjoy. See you guys in the next one.